Hello and welcome. In this lab, we will be performing a hydraulic conductivity of soil test, better known as a permeability test or PERM test. This test covers ASTM D2434, D5856, D5084, and ASHTO T215. We will need the following items to perform this test constant and falling head permeability device with flexible wall trioxial cell, a thermometer, stopwatch, and our sand sample. The sample has already been set up in the trioxial cell with a flexible wall surrounding it and 10 psi of confining pressure to hold it in place. I am going to give you a rundown on how the sample was set up. We are using the same concrete sand that was used in the sieve analysis test. We are using it because it will allow the water to flow freely through the sample so we can get results quickly. Typically, this type of setup is used for cohesive soils, i.e. silts and clays, either disturbed or undisturbed. This type of sample needs to be started out at 100% saturation so we can get water flowing through the sample and not absorbing into it. After setting up our sample, it was saturated with the aired water, making sure no air bubbles are left in the system. If we were to perform this test on a granular material, we would use a rigid wall test. This would usually consist of a proctor mold with a drain at the bottom and an apparatus to set up a constant head test. Normally this is a recompacted sample. The first test we'll be running will be a falling head permeability, which is used on cohesive or fine grain materials. We will be using the far barrette to monitor the flow of the water into the sample through this line which goes from the barrette to the sample. Up to the top, percolating through the sample and exiting out of the bottom of the sample and venting to atmosphere. We will start the readings at the zero location on the barrette and finish at the five milliliter location. You will be given the heights of those locations for your data. And time how long it will take to accumulate five milliliters of water. We will repeat this test three times and average the results. Any other information you need on the form will be provided by your TA. Next, we'll be running a constant head test. This type of test is typically ran on granular soils. I will change over a couple of valves and now we are flowing water from that reservoir. This is considered a constant head because of the size of the reservoir and the little amount of water that will be flowing from it for our test. Normally, this test would have a setup to replace any water used to maintain our head. We are maintaining a low head on this test because of the size of the tubing in the apparatus. We do not want something other than the soil to control the flow, so we do not go from a lamiter flow to a turbulent one. The top of the reservoir will be the new initial head or applied inlet pressure. That pressure or height will be given to you for your worksheet. And where it vents to air will be your applied outlet pressure or zero. We will be collecting the water from the outlet line in a 10 milliliter beaker and time how long it takes to collect that 10 milliliters. We will record the time and repeat this test two more times. We will average the results of all three tests. That concludes this lab. For additional information, please refer to the student lab manual and get help from your TA and your instructor.